<sighs> Wootsuit family, I have a confession to make. I've been lying for like 10 years now. You see, 10 years ago, I watched a film and I've been telling people that I watched it and then it was so bad within 24 hours, I watched it again. That movie was Twilight and the lie, I actually kind of liked it at the time that I watched it. So yes, for the last 10 or so years, I lied in saying that I thought the Twilight movie was bad. Now hang on, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's a good movie, I'm just saying that I don't really see what all the fuss is about and what all the hate's about. I've been thinking about something that Jim said. He, a couple years ago, he was talking about love and relationships and he had this really cool turn of phrase that he used. He said, don't yuck other people's yums. Now granted, he was talking about this in terms of like, a, you know, sex and relationships and, and love and whatnot, but I think it has a real broad appeal in terms of wisdom. I find that we tend to spend a lot of time online really generating negativity, really generating a lot of hatred. I'm starting to really see that it's a, it's a bad use of our time. It's a very misplaced attempt at creating entertainment and, and creating shock value. I bring up Twilight specifically because of a Lindsay Ellis video that I rewatched recently. I'll put the link down below, but basically it was Stephanie Meyer, I am sorry. And then there she goes into a long conversation and reflection about the kind of online hatred and whatnot that was directed at Stephanie Meyer and the Twilight series and the Twilight fans. And she discusses how she herself kind of fell victim to some of these this kind of negative thinking. And I realized that I've been kind of parroting this lie all the time. Like I watched Twilight and 24 hours later, I watched it again because it was so bad. But really, I found the characters kind of compelling. I found the story kind of compelling. And it's not that it's a great movie or that it's a great work of fiction. Although to be honest, I've never read the book. I'm just purely talking about the movie here. But when I think about it, I didn't think it was a waste of my time. I actually enjoyed it. I, I derived kind of pleasure from the experience and it was a good time. Now don't get me wrong, I don't know where to draw the line because I've watched a lot of nitpicky criticism videos online on YouTube. That is my bread and butter. But I find that I've been drifting more towards certain kind of content creators that give thoughtful reflections on pieces of media and pieces of art. And the things that I'm starting to enjoy more are well-grounded, well-theory-backed criticisms and deconstructions of art, but also the YouTube channels that tend to celebrate works of art. Things that talk about the good points of it, of why we're drawn to art and fiction and literature and movies and all of these wonderful things. And rather than tearing stuff down, it's all about elevating and sharing and celebrating just how great things can be. Here's another secret, and I'm not too proud about this, but I reflect on it in middle school. I made a girl cry for liking NSYNC. Like that's super crappy of me to do. And it's something that when I look back on it, I realize I want to smack my younger self and be like, what's the problem? A couple years later on the No Strings Attached album, you actually like their music. So what was the problem with it? And I'm not just talking about the things that we tear down because girls like it, although that too is a problem. I'm just talking about ad revenue, click through, shock value, incentives that we use in order to drive traffic to stuff. You know, the more hate filled, criticism, nitpicky, plot holy things that we do, we can draw in an audience. And again, there's a time and a place to kind of sit back and chuckle at these things, but I'm finding that it tends to be a lot more pervasive than I'm really all that comfortable with. And so I'm gonna take Jim's piece of advice and I'm gonna say, don't yuck other people's yums. I think it's great advice. I think it's kind of a, a good attitude to take towards things. And you know what, it's all about bringing people together and sharing the, in the experience. You might not understand it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. In fact, there's often gonna be good things in there that you hadn't realized before if you just kind of open up your mind to it. So what about you? Have you ever torn things down because it was a cool thing to do? Do you have any deep, dark secrets that you keep away from other people? Do you have guilty pleasures? I like Nickelback. Why don't you share your deepest, darkest secrets down below in the comment section? Let's share things together. Who knows, maybe in reading through the comments, I'll find my next favorite thing. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for helping to make the internet just a little bit of a better place to be. Stay awesome.